Good morning, everybody, and welcome to a brand new day. I can already feel it. Today is going to be a great day. I'm sure this is a really flattering angle. <laughs> um, I just woke up about an hour ago, and for some reason, my daughter is sleeping so much later than usual, which is dope. Um, she is awake now, but she only like just started to wake up, so I am still <laughs> going to get some work done. I am, I've been editing um, the caption or the description, I guess, of a new video for this channel that is going to go live uh, today. And so I've just been working on that caption and then now I'm working on the thumbnail and I've been doing that since I woke up about an hour ago. So I realized, okay, wait, since I got to sleep till eight and my baby is still asleep, I am just gonna get straight to work. So. That is exactly what I have done. I'm just trying to make the background a little bit more interesting on my thumbnail, and to do that, I have to use the computer. But otherwise, typically, I just work from my phone. So yeah, I just wanted to say good morning. Good morning, how are you? Today I'm going to, this is going to be a very normal day for me. Um, the last vlog that I did was a series of a few days that was just kind of not normal. Today is going to be a lot more normal, and I'm going to actually give you more of like a step-by-step what time am I doing what? How am I getting it all done? Um, that kind of thing. So if that is something that you're interested in, please let me know. For right now, I am just going to quickly, very quickly try to finish up this thumbnail and then I'm gonna go get my baby, I'm gonna get dressed, and then we are gonna go to the gym and get our day started. I also bought, I spent like $200 on props for OnlyFans, Patreon, and YouTube. And I will be showing you guys that in a little bit and telling you like why I bought it and how to use it for a tax write-off. Um, so yeah, that's it. I will see you guys in the next clip. So I'm just using PicMonkey. I pay for an annual subscription because I also do photography on the side. And so I can do like funky, cool edits. And I am just taking my thumbnail and editing out the car in the background because it's not as interesting to look at. And I'm replacing it with some pink glitter. So yeah, just, just to make it prettier. <laughs> so taking out the background also allows you to be able to add text and stuff to where if the background was like the back of my car, it wouldn't be as easy to see. So um, what I did is for this clock, I just Googled clock emoji and found one that once you click on it, it has these little, uh, these little squares. I don't know if you can quite tell, but it's got these little squares and it doesn't have that if it's just like this, um, like this, and then you click on it and woo, there are the squares. And the reason why is because that means that it has no background. So as where, or so whereas like this one, for example, it does not have squares. And so that means it'll save as the clock emoji, but with this background. So you don't want that, or like this one, it'll save like that. And I did not want that. I wanted one that I could just pop in here. So that is why I did that. One way that you can guarantee that all of your search results, or at least most of them will have those little squares is if you Google like clock background emoji, um, let's see like this. Let's do no background. PNG. And then most of these, I don't know. I don't know about some of these actually, but yeah, then most of them will be exactly what you're looking and for. And that is something that I've only learned because I've literally been making YouTube videos since I was like 18. So <laughs> it's just something you learn. <laughs> are just getting out of the gym now. Um, I tried to film some of my workout, but there are just so many people who are constantly at the gym. So like I would be getting other people on camera and I don't think that's like really allowed. So I did not film very much, but I did 30 minutes on the stair stepper, which is my normal. It's quite hard, but it's a great form of cardio. And um, yeah, I, I did that and it was extra hard for me today. And I was like, I wonder why. And it's because I was in a little bit of a rush this morning to get going and I totally forgot to eat anything. Normally I have like a little bite of something lately because I used to do all fasted workouts in the morning 
until I started getting really, really dizzy and lightheaded and like almost passing out. So, um, yeah, that's why I was just a little out of it today. Rosie's back there. She's got a cracker and yeah, we are just going to get going. We're going to head home. I highly recommend, even though gym memberships can be pretty expensive, I go to Lifetime, so it's known for kind of being a little more spendy, but if you pay, I think it's 10 or $15 a month per kid, you, uh, it's just per month, yeah, so like one payment of $15 a month, you literally get two and a half hours of daycare every single day for that entire month. And if your kid is three years old or older, I think that most Lifetime Fitnesses offer a date night to where you can actually drop your kids off and leave for like, I think three hours or something. So like a little getaway, a date night um, is another perk that they offer. So yes, it is pretty expensive, but you just cannot beat. Like, I think I pay... $85 a month for my membership plus Rose's membership for daycare. $85 a month for two and a half hours of daycare every single day is so, so worth it. And yeah, you have to stay there, but like if you are working from home, you can literally go there, walk on the treadmill, get some work done, answer your emails, or you can even sit in like the lobby area and get work done using the Wi-Fi. And also I use it as my prime opportunity to shower and do my makeup every single day. So that's why I go to the gym every single day. It helps with just building healthier habits and um, also being able to get work done. So yes, highly recommend um, if you can't afford daycare like myself, like I would never want to or be able to afford daycare so this is a great alternative for that and it just helps to keep me on track as well so um yeah just just a little tip or any for you um so yeah i did that and then i did some push-ups and i did a lot of stretching today since i was so tense and tight i'm just going to head home it's 12 30 and I'm going to make myself and Rose some lunch. Then I'm going to put Rose to bed and then I'm gonna work. For lunch and then several other meals after this, I made some tofu fried rice with some pre-made jasmine rice and some frozen vegetables, some canned vegetables, a thing of tofu, just like a bunch of stuff, and then some soy sauce and teriyaki. And yeah, it's gonna be really, really tasty. Yum. So me and Rose are just watching a movie. Okay, so it is 8.30-ish. Yeah, 8.37. And I just put Rose to bed. We had a little, we never watched like a full movie, but we just had a little half movie night together. We ate some popcorn, watched Nightmare Before Christmas. Some people might think I'm crazy because she's so young, but I watched horror movies when I was like six, so. She's almost two. Nightmare Before Christmas is a cartoon. It's fine. Um, yeah, anyway. So now the house is a disaster because that's just my life. And I tell you every night, every night I clean my house and every night it gets like this. So I am going to chillax. Um, by chillax, I mean clean my house with a glass of water so i'm gonna do that while my phone charges and then as my phone is charging um i'm going to just finish cleaning this up i have already filmed and uploaded a video today so i am gonna do some customs i have three customs that i have to get done so i'm gonna try to film all of them tonight <sighs> um like i showed you i actually got all of my stuff in the mail finally for um all of my content that I'm making. I even, even a costume that I totally forgot that I ordered. Here, let me show you. I completely forgot that I ordered this. Um, and it's gonna be so good for, I, like look, it has little bones, a little skeleton. It's gonna be perfect for my giant test content. And a lot of people on my OnlyFans actually requested that I do a costume, a costume like this for Halloween. So uh, that's pretty cool, but um, most of those costumes are going to show a lot and I have to get my wax tomorrow. So I cannot, um, cannot do anything like that tonight. I just have to do my more tame customs and things like that. I'm really excited about it though. Uh, yeah, so that's that. And I'm just gonna get to cleaning, go plug my phone. Okay, back. so I got distracted. I made the mistake of opening OnlyFans and then I just spent the last 20 minutes responding to messages. So now that I'm done with that, 
I will continue to clean. Just finishing up all of my custom videos. It is 11 o'clock at night and I'm about to head to bed. I did clean up the kitchen. I have a load of dishes that's just ready to be turned on in the dishwasher and I, I'm done. I'm done for the day. I'm actually getting to bed before midnight, which is insane. I um, kept the house clean for the most part. I did an ASMR video, uploaded it. I just have to make it public tomorrow. And then I filmed this video here for you guys today on my second channel. I filmed three customs. I am on a rock and rollio today. That's really exciting. And then I responded to all of my messages and everything too. Made sure I was all caught up. I am so ready. Ready to take on tomorrow. Tomorrow will be a good day. I'm not going to vlog it. I think I vlogged enough today. Um, just to give you a really good like day in my life, what time I got everything done and um, things like that, like a really good step by step for you for a productive, successful day. Tomorrow, I am going to be getting a wax. And then I have a few ASMR videos to film. And I just have to like really nail down a time for Thursday because Thursday is going to be my day that I literally spend all day long making content because I'm going to be um, healed for my wax. I'm going to be like taking all the pictures for OnlyFans, the videos for Patreon and my YouTube channel. Like I'm just going to get it all done. So it's going to be a heck of a day on Thursday. And I've already talked to CJ and I was just like, hey, I need you guys to get the heck out of the house because I need to literally work for like 10 hours straight. So he was very nice and obliged to doing that. So yeah, that's it. Uh, I'm going to hit the hay. First, I'm going to like brush my teeth and wash my face and stuff, do my skincare. But then I am going to bed before midnight crazy that that never happens so I'm thrilled that that's happening right now I hope that you also had a great productive day or that I was able to offer you some entertainment or bits of knowledge uh yeah that's it if you have any questions or video ideas let me know in the comments down below and until then I will see you in my next video <laughs> bye guys